Hello, I'm JW. A uh, short video here, just have a look at this light bulb, or lamp more correctly, which I've just obtained. And uh, this is an LED one, and it has these uh, filaments inside. And what's notable about this particular one is the fact that it is actually made of glass, and it's the same size as the equivalent uh, incandescent variety. Let's say 8 watts, which is supposed to be equivalent to the uh, 60 watt or somewhat greater incandescent style. So uh, let's have a look at this and uh, also see what it looks like next to a old 60 watt type. Now here's the box of this uh, particular item and uh, as you can see it's a uh, got the dimensions and things on the side there and it's a uh, claiming to be greater than a 60 watt uh, GLS lamp equivalent colour rendering of uh, 80 or greater which is perfectly fine 800 lumens and it's nice to see they've actually put the lumens on the box because a lot of these uh, products, particularly ones direct from China, don't actually state the lumen output and certainly be aware of any products which say equivalent to something and doesn't actually tell you uh, the amount of light that comes out of it because if they're not telling you that then basically they either don't know or uh, they don't want you to know. So uh, there we have it and uh, this particular one is a bayonet uh, end as is typically used in the UK but it uh, apparently is available with the screw fitting as well. It's on the top here and it's also available in warm white which this one is, uh, neutral white and daylight so uh, this is the warm white which should be say near to the old incandescent type. As you can get, uh, temperature of 2700 Kelvin. And I so say these are uh, relatively new. And it's new as well that you have been able to get these for a while, but they uh, generally only had either two or four filaments inside, which was fine. But of course, they weren't particularly bright. Whereas this one, uh, say, has eight in there, so it's one watt per sort of filament piece. And so, therefore, eight watts in total. And internally, it's incredibly similar to the old incandescent type there, so you've basically got the actual glass enclosure, the same metal cap basically just cemented down, and you've got the uh, sort of stem in the middle there, and it's even got the uh, tube in the centre, and we'll see that actually internally there, which was uh, normally used to remove the gas from it when it was made if it was an incandescent type, but uh, obviously they're using the similar construction, probably on the same production line, to do these instead. On the top there, it's just got the uh, little stamp on there with the brand name, voltage, and the rating. Now, these are stated as non dimmable, and uh, the reason for this is if we have a look in the bottom, I'm not going to take this one apart, but you can see down there there's actually a six pin chip on that side, so it's obviously not just a question of a capacitive dropper or something, there is actually a chip in there to control the current. I see there's a few other components on the surface there, so probably a couple of resistors or something. And then this side we've got a four pin uh, chip there, which is presumably a bridge rectifier, so uh, there may well be a capacitor in the base somewhere. So it's definitely not just a question of a uh, capacitive dropper and a rectifier and the current just shoves through. There is at least some kind of control going on there, hence this is only marked for a specific voltage. You can see there is the uh, 220 to 240 volts, uh, 50 hertz there. And it says non-dim on the top as well, warm white, 8 watts and B22. So up here just an old uh, ceiling light here with just the two uh, holders there. There's a third one at the back which we're not going to be using. And here's our LED filament type bulb with the eight filaments inside. And then here's an old type 60 watt thing and as you can see, in terms of size and appearance, pretty much identical. Both glass, both the same shape, both the same cap on the end. So we'll uh, put both of these in here and then see what they look like. So I've got the uh, incandescent over here and the LED over here. As you can see the uh, sort of yellowy bits uh, peeking through the glass. So let's see what they look like. Now, it's always difficult with these on camera because, of course, the camera always adjusts to compensate for that. But uh, as you can see, in terms of the uh, colour, pretty much exactly the same. And even in terms of the brightness, again, it's pretty much the same. I mean, this might be uh, fractionally brighter over this side, but uh, really there's nothing in it. And certainly if you saw that thing on the ceiling, you wouldn't even know that there was a LED thing inside because, I say, it's about as identical as you can get. Now I've just turned off the other lighting, so the only light we've got on here now is the thing you can see on the table there. 
and uh, there you go. I mean, that's uh, as close as you're going to get. So uh, I'll give anyone a job to even tell which of those was the LED and uh, which was the incandescent. And say so the LED is over this side, and the uh, incandescent 60 watt is over there. So uh, 60 watts on the left, 8 watts on the right. And those of you just from the uh, top there, so uh, to the naked eye you can see the different shape of the filaments here. You can see that these are actually vertical and that's more of a uh, curved shape. That probably doesn't show on the camera that well. But certainly even to the eye, I mean, the colour and uh, brightness of these looks pretty much exactly the same. So the difference is the slightly different shape of the filament things in the LED one as compared to the incandescent. But certainly in terms of brightness, colour and light output and whatever, it's exactly the same, and if that was, say, hung up on a ceiling or something, nobody would have known that there was an LED inside there. Now let's put the other lights on there, so if we just turn off. And again, then we can see the uh, two uh, tops of those inside there. So that's the uh, LED one on the right, and the older uh, incandescent on the left. So that's the uh, filament LED lamp, and so as you saw there, there's really no difference in terms of the light output. The difference, of course, is this is 60 watts. This is only 8, so uh, dramatically less energy used, and uh, this thing ought to last considerably longer as well, given the fact that it's got at least a two-year warranty on the box. It doesn't say how many hours it's going to last, but uh, you would expect in the tens of thousands, whereas your typical incandescent thing you might get a thousand or maybe slightly more out of it depending on how often you switch the thing on and off. But uh, yeah, anyone who uh, doesn't believe that uh, LEDs can now be exactly the equivalent, well uh, think again because there you've got them. So until next time, thanks for watching.